Hi guys, I wanted to make a video today about the Jang Cedar. You know, it's a great cedar for small farms and larger farms too. And I wanted to A, share some tips and tricks, show you how to calibrate it, and tell a little bit of our story. You know, when we started, we were using one row. And then when we got a little bit bigger, you know, when we're producing carrots like this, you know, you kind of need a little bit bigger of a, a cedar. So we switched to a five row. And here's a little video of it running, you know, kind of going to seed with it and the kind of scale we were on at that point. Um, now we're back down to a one row because it makes more sense for our scale again. So um, I hope you enjoy this video and feel free to comment, share below, and I'll try to answer other questions or make follow-up videos to help you able to use this cedar better. I wanted to point out the double disc openers in the front. They're nice to have if you've got a lot of rocks or if you're cutting through a little bit more rough soil, um, heavier soil. Uh, we would also use it if we were still seed bedding for a week before we planted. So those were nice and cut through that crust very nicely. You can also see here in the rear, this is the covering shoe. And you can adjust that any way for depending on the type of soil you've got. This is obviously the hopper. And let's go ahead and put a seed plate in the hopper. You can see here, this is a F24 seed plate, which is the suggested one for radishes. So we'll go ahead and slide that in, slide in our um, gear there, and then go ahead and close it with this little thumb screw sort of thingamajiggy. All right, so now we're ready to put our seed in. We'll pop the top off. And uh, this is just Rover Radish from Johnny's. This is actually some older seed. But that doesn't matter because we're just testing how they flow through this. So dump some seed in. All right, so then we get what I usually use is a little tiny container like this. And dump some little seeds. So let's move that off. And if you notice, the plate has 24 holes. And so if you look at, go back to looking at our seeding chart, it shows that it will drop a seed every whatever. So let's say I use an inch. So that means for one revolution of this, that's going to be 24 inches or so. All right. So we're trying to figure out how many seeds it's going to drop in those 24 holes with these 24 holes on this plate. So you can see we kind of got the line right there. So we'll go ahead and then just turn this all the way around till it's about the approximate same spot. All right, then we'll lay this down and then we'll just go ahead and count the number of seeds in there. So if you look there, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, All right, so that time it dropped 29. And then usually what I'll do is go ahead and do it five times. All right, then what I'll do is go ahead and just take the average of those and enter that into my spreadsheet. All right, so here is our Jang calculator. And as we said, we did it five different times. So here are the five different numbers we got, um, 29, 28, 27, 26, and then 29. And that's why I like to do five, because sometimes the variation is a little bit different. And all right, the next thing is to enter in our germination rate. So on those radishes, it was 92%. So we'll go ahead and put in 0.92 and then hit enter. And there you go. So that spit out for a 24 roller. If you use the different combinations of the front and rear sprockets, what's how many seeds per foot it's going to kick out. And um, this takes into account your germination rate. And it shows you also how many seeds per revolution you have there. So how a process would work on this is that we would sit down as soon as our seed orders started coming in in January and February and run our seeds through the hoppers and check out the seed plates and that sort of thing and then enter all the information that gave us into our master sheet. So that when we went out to seed in the field, all that information with the sprockets and the rollers and that sort of thing would be in our master spreadsheet. Now, obviously, we were still checking every couple of weeks just to make checking our germ and making sure that it was still the right size roller. But this saved us an incredible amount of time in the field during the summer, getting it all done in February in, you know, when the, it's a little bit slower. 
All right, guys, for bonus number one, we actually went ahead and put all the uh, the calculator and a Jang seed size chart with over 100 different seeds entered into it online. Um, so if you below this video on YouTube, you have to go to YouTube version of this video, which is on our channel, you can um, click on a link and enter your email in and it will send you directly to this page. Now when you do get there, make sure you do s download and save it directly to your drive. You want to click on save a copy, otherwise the sheets won't work. Um, and actually we put even put in there a quick read me first which tells you exactly how to do that. So hope you enjoy it, have fun, and keep planting seeds. All right, so I went ahead and used carrot seed. I wanted to try these carrot seeds and see how many of them would go through this on the different plates. And we tried the X24 and the F24 again as well. And the X24 gave us about 50 seeds per evolution. And the F24 gave us around 80 to 85 seeds. So again, we're looking for about 60 seeds per well 30 seeds a foot so that's kind of where we're, we're heading off of is going for that 30 seeds per foot so um do realize that every seed lot is going to be different so if we were to buy a different seed lot of bolero next year we would be checking it again just to make sure as well as be checking our germ rates just to make sure that we're getting all the variables another thing you may want to consider on the seeder that we'll use is this brush here and you can adjust the brush to go tighter or looser depending on if you feel like it's going a little heavy or a little light on your seeding rate so in those carrots like we were one was like 50 we might have gone a little bit higher we could loosen the brush a little bit and add a little bit more seed through or we could use the plate that was too heavy and adjust the brush in tighter so it was making sure it's cleaning more seed off that um, I don't like to do that as much. I just feel there's too much variation and then between times you set it You'd be a little bit looser a little bit tighter now if this had like a thumb screw or something to pull this out and Closer that would actually be much better, but how it's set up We just like to try to find the closest roller to what we're trying to do and leave this brush the same most of the time